Peace. This is a meat and potato sourcing production starring myself, the Warrior Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is revelations. Now, when you speak about revelations, this is something that's revealed to you, and it could be self-fulfilling, or it can shatter your whole world and your belief system. And this definitely applies to occultists. And even the Bible plays a role in it because although the Bible is like put together and manufactured for political control, it still has elements of truth in it. And that's undeniable. And they say in the book of John that ye are gods, but ye shall die as humans or men. That is true for a mouth breather. Now, I'm going to say some things because I don't get the luxury of taking a break as long as many other people do so with that i want to say this let's talk about angels now are angels or archangels are they just that way yes but there are certain people and it's a term used earth angels there are certain people that are born that come from an angelic line and people will say, well, no, you're reaching it. No, not really. Tell you why. If you really examine it, and I work with the Greek pantheon, that's one of my pantheons. What was Heracles or Hercules? He was half human, half God. Zeus was his father. And later on, he was gifted full godhood by the gods of Olympus. So it's not half fetch as people may think and besides immortality you can move up in the pecking order because you have angels and you have archangels archangels are like michael raziel gabriel gabriel is fantastic to work with if you ever want to put somebody in a place with baneful magic gabriel is the one that could really assist you with that so that's just a little cheat sheet code and a book that you can get is Archangels of Magic by Damon Brand. But what I found out is that when you really embark upon this path and you consist, I mean, and you push it with so much drive and determination, they're going to be secrets revealed to you. And it will be a revelation because still human beings are creatures of habit. And I remember one of my favorite movies was The Devil's Advocate with Keanu Reeves and Al Pacino. And when the so-called devil was having a conversation with his son, Kevin, and he said, I've had many children, many disappointments. And he, he elucidated this to his son, Kevin. He said, I couldn't make it easy for you. So I say all this to say what? If you come from an angelic or infernal line of all this, a lot of of the, la the beginning or maybe in the middle part of your life is going to be miserable. They're not going to make it easy. People say, oh, well, if you were so-called half angel, half demon, this, that, and the well, why ain't your life smooth sailing? Because you're held to a different standard. Okay? Think of it like that. Do you think Michael Jordan was held to the same standard as somebody that worked at Carl's Jr.'s or Arby's? No. Well, that applies just like that. It's not going to be easy because the pain, if you really focus it, that's going to draw you into magic. And then some things are going to happen to you magically. And as time goes on, what's going to end up happening, spirits are really going to reveal to you who and what you really are. Trust me, I know exactly the line and lineage I come from. So that's going to get revealed to you. You can study the Bahaga, you know, Gita that and they talk about that but here's the part and i'm gonna make a lot of people mad but okay let's start when you are an angel do you stay that way no besides becoming an archangel let's say a person's human they start like that you can become a god and that's what you're supposed to be aspiring for so people say well angels can't become gods at eh, wrong mm -mm, no yes they can i know i did divination so if you want to find out about you and have those revelations really get into your divination really consult with spirits that you may have a pact with this is why packs are very very good i'm going to do another one with orbis and then i'm going to do another one with king bell why because i'm 
I'm, I have nothing better to do with my life. But you no, know, just because you're an angel doesn't mean that you stay that way. Just because you're here on this planet does not necessarily mean you're human. It doesn't. And I'm going to say something else. Usually when you are going to become a God, they have it where you're nominated. And there's a tribunal of gods from all pantheons. And they will let you know, besides immortality, whether or not you're going to go to the next level. One of my favorite shows back in the day was Highlander. The movie with Christopher Lambert and the series Highlander starring Adrian Paul as his cousin Duncan McCall. Love that series. I'm saying all that to say... You the Highlander. So what are you going to do with that revelation? So with that, that is your meat and potato sorcery for the day. I'm the Warrior Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.